Shalom, shalom. This is Negro for Life coming to you live. As always, we give praise to the Holy Father. Nigga, for another blessed day. To bring forth this word and this truth. Today's topic is, are you a Negro or are you not? Are you a nigga or, are you, or, or aren't you? And the reason I say that is, is because... Ever since I said that the Heavenly Father name is nigga, you all flipped out like, what? Like, no, that's not true. His name is Yahoo. His name is Yahweh. <laughs> but, who, but who told you that? Are you going off hearsay? Or have you done, have you even dug into the records? Have you even dug into the, have you even done deep research to prove that his name is Yahoo or Yahweh or Yahweh? Or are you hearing it from these camps? Now, like I said, in my next upcoming lessons, we're gonna expose those names, and we're gonna go to the root of the to the root of the matter. But you got no problem with me saying that in the Bible that the Messiah was a Negro, and the, and the Heavenly Father is a Negro being described in Daniel and uh, Revelation. But as soon as I said that his name is nigger, you all flipped out. You cast stones at me, you persecute me. But everything has been documented in history, it's been recorded in the history that, that the letter N is the sacred letter and the oldest letter in the world. And that letter so happens to represent our Heavenly Father's name, nigger. And his people, he says, if my people who are called by my name. Let's get that scripture. If my people. See, let's get this real quick. You got 2 second, second Chronicles 17, chapter 7, verse 14, right? And what does this say? So you got, let me see, I want the, I want the King James Version. Where is it at? So, so we know what it says, right? If my people, he says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. He says, I will heal their land. So what land do you come from? What, what land do you come from? And what is his name? And what is his? And he said, "If my people are called by my name, so let's let's do this. Let's do this. I'm see. I'm proud to be a Negro. I'm proud to be a Negro. But you Negroes, they were, we were called the Grecians. So, so when we go like here to this book right here, Jews selling blacks." What name, what race of people do you know upon the face of the earth is called Negroes? Negroes a name. Or niggers. They were calling us niggers, right? Niggers and Negroes. I said Negroes for sale. They didn't say Israelites for sale. They said Negroes for sale. All throughout this book, Negroes. Negroes. They didn't say Israelites. They didn't say Hebrews for sale. They said Negroes for sale. Negroes and niggers. Right? That's what they, that's that's what's been documented in history. You you believe that we put you want to you believe that, that we were put on slave ships, and you say that all twelve tribes are Negroes. They don't say all twelve tribes are uh, uh, all twelve tribes are Israelites. Okay. I have not said one time that I, that that I deny the Bible. But I'm putting, I'm using my common sense and knowledge and understanding to putting this stuff in its proper perspective, proper perspective and understanding. And you niggas don't want to believe me. But that's okay, it's all good. Like I said, you can unsubscribe my channel. It's, it's not going to make or break me. I don't, I, I wouldn't care less if I had one subscriber. 
at least that one subscriber is getting the uh, is getting the message. I'm getting the message through. You know what I'm saying? Now, so all throughout this book, you have on on display and advertisements Negroes for sale. Okay, and from my understanding now that I know that I have the father's name is Nigger, and he says that if my people were called by my name, what group of people do you know upon the face of the earth is called niggers? Negroes. Let's go here. He says, he says that if my people are called by my name, so his name is nigger, and what and what is this people name? Niggers, so-called African Americans, Negroes, niggers, and the land. What is the land? What land do you come from? You come from. You come from. Negro land. Do you see the connection? Did you see the connection? What's wrong with being called a Negro? Or a nigger? It's not a racist term. Not what, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. There's nothing wrong with being called a nigger. But you have been so conditioned to believe that when they say, when they call us somebody of a, of, a, of another ethnicity calls us a nigger, you take it in terms of, of it being a, uh, of them being a racist. But they're saying it out of ignorance because they don't know the, they don't know the etymology of the word. They don't they don't know where the word comes from, and they don't know who it's representing, who it's pertaining to. Do you have a land that's called Yashwael or Israel? Remember. Abraham left Samaria. He, he left Mesopotamia and went to, to the land of Canaan. Remember, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Jacob is, is the name of a man, not the name of a country. Okay? See, you fools, you niggas don't know geography. You, you dumb niggas, you niggas don't know history. You don't know history. So... You got to have a real nigga like me come on here and, and, and teach you something. You don't know what his name is. You don't know what his son's name is. You don't know what his people's name is. Hebrew is a language. It's not, a, it's not describing the people. It's the language. Okay? Now, let's do this. Let's click on this... Um, Let's click on, let's keep on going, right? So you got, in the United States, Negro superseded color as the most polite word for African Americans at a time when black was considered more of offensive. Okay, so back, so back in the 19, back in 1947, they had a comic book out called All Negro Comics. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with this comic book, All Negro Comics? He had, he had the baseball, he had the league called the Negro League, 1920s to 1950s. This is not called the, the uh, Israelite League, it's called Negro League. Okay? You have here, so you're not proud, you're not proud to be a Negro. You're not proud to be a nigger. You want to you be everything else but a, but a nigger, but a Negro. And, and when you go to the second N-word, website.com, it's, you can use this site as a blueprint and go along with the word. Okay? Now, let's type in real quick. Let's type in real quick uh, uh, entomology dictionary, right? So, you got ent entomology. Entomology Dictionary, right? Online. And we're going to type in the word niggas. Niggas. And it says, title of ruler of Abyssinia. It says, from the Amharic, niggas. Niggish, meaning king. King. So, if he is the king of kings, what does that make us? If in the beginning, I 
Heavenly Father nigga created the heavens and the earth and he created Adam and, he created Adam and Eve. So with that Adam, you get the Allah, but that's not the first alphabet. So in reality, he created he created the Negro and the Negress. Adam and Eve were created in his image and likeness. They were Negroes. So when you go here, Um, nothing you can say or do is going to change my mind. You can talk to your blue in the face and say his name is not Nick all day long, but guess what? You're going to see in the end. Who do you think is going to come back? Who do you expect to come? Who do you expect if you believe in the Mashiach? If you believe that any father is going to send our big brother to come back, what person do you expect to see is going to come down? You going to expect to see a white boy? Or you going to expect to see a nigga? Um, give me one second. So here. In the Hermetic Bible Dictionary. It says, in the Igbo Niger Nigerian language, or in the uh, Igbo, is Negro land. In the Negro Nigerian language, the name nigger means king and emperor. What did this just say? Niggas. It all is the same thing. Niggas, Negro, nigger, king. Nigger means king and empress. Whereas the name Nigeria means queen or empress. You see that? So why? So how come it's not possible that he called Adam and Eve Negro? Called nigger. He called he called Adam and Eve nigger and Nigeria. Why is it not possible? Why can't you believe that? Because you don't want to believe it. So it says when you when you say nigger, the word the name the name nigger says, Master, you are my God. I am here to worship you. You are my power. You are my. You are my father. I'm here to worship you. That's what you're. That's what you're saying. Whether you want to believe it or not, I have any father name is nigger. I'm showing and proving it to you. So, so let's just think about this. Think about this. If, if, if this word nigger is the oldest name in the world. Okay, and it's a it's a name that's that uh is an ancestor of Christ, the Mashiach, right? And it says that this word nigger was a greeting, was prevalent as brother in the in, in the US until the nineteen forties. And then it goes down here that says that it says that this this uh land Negro land uh, or Negritia was known all the way up until uh, 1845 when when the Western powers, meaning these white folks, are going around colonizing everything, changing that, changing everything around, and they changed it from Negritia to Africa at the Conference of Berlin in 1884 to 1885. And then, Negritia and Negro Land is the same name. So it's telling you that niggas or Negroes, we have a homeland called Negro Land. And it corresponds right back to 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, chapter 7, verse 14. It says, at my people who are called by my name. What is this name? Nigger. What is this people's name? Niggas, what is their homeland name? Negro land. Negritia. I'm making this stuff as simple as possible, but you niggas don't want to believe me. We were called niggas. There's nothing wrong with the word nigger or negro. So let's look at this. Let's go here. This is the old articles magazine. This is an old articles magazine. 
the crisis, June 1914, page 74. It says the color of our, of our Mashiach. It says several persons. Let me bring this out some. It says seven per, several persons have written us objecting to the imitation and our advertising columns that the Mashiach was not a white man. We confess to a certain lack of interest in the subject, but are forced in self-defense to publish this note from the Cambridge Encyclopedia Company concerning their corn, concerning their corn collection. It says, quote, among other rare pieces of collection, and, uh, among other rare pieces, our collection contains in gold solidius of Justinian II, circa 705 A.D., which was purchased from Lincoln and Company, the well-known nuministics of, of Oxford Street in London, after, after having been verified as genuine by the coin department of the British Museum. It says, quote, The obverse is stamped with the full face bust of Justinian with road career and cross legend. And it goes on, it gives a description about this coin, right? And it says here that on the adverse side, you have the Mashiach with a cross in his hand with a book, right? And he has woolly hair. <coughs> and it's, excuse me. And it says, quote, whatever the fact, this coin places beyond dispute the belief that the Mashiach the Messiah was a Negro. It didn't say he was an Israelite. It said he's a Negro. It says the coin is otherwise of great historical interest, for it was the cause of a war between Justinian and Abdul Malik, fifth caliph of Omeyads, the former demanding tribute to be paid in these same coins. The latter refused it. Now, it said that Yahushua, Jesus Christ, whatever name you want to give him, nigger, he's a nigger, his name was nigger, uh, was, a, was, a, was a negro. He's a nigger. He's a nigger. Now, Let's go back here to Negro Land, right? So we know that. Let's go back. Let's go back here, right? Um, and it says here that Encyclopedia Atlases and Dictionaries through the 1940s document our name. It says here that we were known as Negritians. Negritians. Now. Let's go back into Wikipedia. And it says, Nig uh, 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 let's see here. Okay. Um, let me see what I want. Let's type in, let's type in Negro Land, right? So I don't have a problem calling my father nigger because I know what his name is. I know what his name is. I know what his son's name is. I know what his people's name is. You, you African, you African Americans don't want to be classified as a Negro or a nigger because you are so, so you are so, you have been so indoctrinated with. The word with them call us niggas, and you put you let them you let them put you down. So it says Negro land or Negritia was an archaic term in European back making. Do you know what the word archaic means? If you don't know what the word archaic means, look it up. Archaic stands for something that's old, something that's ancient. So it says Negro Lamb or Negritia. So let's go back here to the second N word. And it says here on this map, 
called Negritia was also called Negro Land. Okay? And the people were Negroes. So, he said, my people are called by my name. So, if you can still his name is Yahweh, or Yahuwah, or, your, or, your, or, or, or uh, uh, Yahweh, that would mean that his, his people's name is Yahuwah's, Yahoo's, or Yahweh's. Right? I'm putting things in this proper perspective. See, because if you all have children, if a father has a son, and say if his name is uh, uh, James, James is a senior. Who's gonna be? He gonna name his son after? He's gonna be the junior. Is he named after his son? Isn't the, isn't the son named after the father? The Messiah said, "I come, I come in my father's name, and you receive me not." And this is sad, man. This is this is this is ridiculous. You can't accept the fact that your heavenly father is a Negro. He's a nigger. And his name so happens to be nigger. And and in this book, right here, he hit the nail on the he hit the head on the nail when he said this. The scriptures say that the word of the most high, I heavenly father nigger, will cut an individual sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing and separating the soul, spirit, and joints and marrow. It judges the reflection of thoughts of the heart. The genuine name of the Supreme Creator has a similar, not if not equal impact. To hear, speak, or even contemplate the true name of the Most High definitely has a profound effect on one's psyche. The brain and its mental faculties are immediately electrified upon hearing Speaking and the mere thought of the Most High's original name, nigger. Matthews 10.22. Let's go to Matthews 10.22. See, you niggers, you negroes, can't accept his name. He said, if you, if you deny me, I'm going to, he said, I'm a big brother nigger. He says, I and my father are one. He said, if you deny me, I'm denying you. You deny yourself. You hate yourself. You hate what he looked like. You made his image and likeness. So you might as well be like these other clowns out here. And you might as well go ahead and bleach your skin. Go ahead and bleach your skin. Perm your hair out. Blind it out. Get those blue contacts. You hate yourself. You have no knowledge of self. No, none whatsoever. You niggas are ignorant. You niggas are ignorant. You don't even know the first commandment. The first commandment says you should not take, you shouldn't, uh, uh, let's go to the first commandment. This is ridiculous. Like I said, if you want to unsubscribe me, go ahead. It's not going to make or break me. None whatsoever. Let's go to the first, the first commandment. Riel. 
he discovered every stroke of death to the children. He seduced Eve. So this is your so-called serpent, deceiver, who, who seduced Eve. God, Riel. God. So in your first chapter of the Bible, in your first Ten Commandments, you got to scratch this out. So if you even think about putting this for Genesis 1 and 1, saying God created heaven and earth, you're giving this, you're giving this credit to, to God real, his fallen angel. So now what do you do? So now, so now you don't know. So now you so now you're stuck with Lord. Lord, Lord is a title. Lord is a title. So you mean to tell me you're gonna go, so you don't want to accept the word the, the name nigger in place, you want to accept that I am nigger, your father. Who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, right? You should have no other Elohims. Elohim means mighty ones of gods before me. Number three, uh, uh, commandment number three: You should not take the name of nigger, your your father, in vain, for a nigger will not hold him guiltless. So you're not even publishing his name. So you're gonna. So you mean to tell me? And we know that this name, nigger, is the oldest name that's recorded in history. It predates Yahweh. It predates Yahuwah. It, it predates Yahweh Shai. It has no beginning or ending. This name, Yahweh, or Yahuwah, is something new. This is a new name. Now, wait till I expose that name, Jehovah, and it's going to tie back to it's your Yahuwah and Yahweh Shai, whatever, I mean, Yahweh. And you should never want to use that name ever again. So, let's go back here. Let's go back here. So it says here that it says here that uh, let's see. It says the the only time nigger shouldn't be applied is when used in vain. The first letter of the Hebrew of the Hebrew alphabet character is uh, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is not the character letter A. But the symbol letter N, which centuries later, or meaning a hundred years later, was translated A. Who was doing the translation, the transliteration of these of the, of the words? And we were in slavery. Who got the hands on the word? These Jewish people, these white folks. So let's do this. Jewish people. With the Tanakh. Let's look on images. Let's see if we can pull these dudes up. Let's see. Let's go to Google. How many father's name is Nigger? Like it or love it? Love, love it or not, his name is Nigger. Check this out. Let's type in 
uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls, right? Let's type this in. And let's go to the Wikipedia. So you niggas don't want to do research. Now, it says here that these scrolls were found in 1946-1947, right? So we didn't find these scrolls. Somebody else found them. A, 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 a Bedouin boy found these scrolls in the caves. A Bedouin is an, is an Arab. Okay? I want to show you. We didn't find them. We in slavery. They buying them and selling them. It says the initial discovery by Bedouin shepherd Mohammed Ed Dieb. Bedouin. These are the Muslim. He found these, ca these scrolls in the cave and took them back. It says the orig original scrolls contained the change. The original scrolls continues to change hands after the Bedouin left left them in the possession of a third party until a sale could be arranged. So they're selling it. So they're now they're selling the word. Just like you just like with these camps are out here doing, selling the word. So now we're gonna click on ownership. So now who so now the Muslim has sold the sold the script to to ownership. Who they selling to? Let's see. So now it said they done sold it. And who and whose hands it is who's uh is it in now? It says it's in the hands of these Jewish people. Current ownership. Look at this. These are all the people who own this stuff, who own the who own the word. Right? You can look this stuff up. You can look this stuff up. I'm not making this stuff up. They got copyrights on this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Copyrights. Look at the Rockefeller Museum. Government of Israel. Year acquired. 1967. Number of fragments and scrolls owned. 15,000. Look at that. You niggas don't own these scrolls. These white folks own these scrolls. They get to, they get to put their names and stake and claims on this stuff. They get to translate, transliterate this stuff. It ain't you. You ain't translating nothing. You don't got nothing. You look at all this stuff up and see that I'm not lying. And this corresponds right back to my lesson on Esau, or the so-called Muslim the Arab, the, Fal the Falanis, uh, uh, sold out to the white man. Now, let's do this. Since you fools don't want to believe me, look at this. It says here that individuals examining part of the Israeli uh, Antiquities Authority Dead Sea Scrolls collection on display at the shrine of the Book of a Wing uh, in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. Here, here it is right there. You see that? They are, exa they are examining it. Right? They're examining. It is right here. Now, let me just do this for you. Let's go here to, so you don't want to accept this name. You don't want to accept the word, the name nigger that predates Yahweh or Jehovah by, from, from the beginning. Because look, it says here that the, the, uh, the N word, it says here that N equals from or belonging to. G means first or beginning. R means the source. So NGR or nigger means from or belonging belonging to the source. The original first people. Now, if this has no beginning or end, and when you go to the book of Revelation, you the Messiah says, I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end, He's the head nigger. So this, so he has no beginning or ending. This letter has no beginning or ending. White folks did not get, did not put this name upon us. This, this name nigger represents the creator. 
So now you come along. Now you come along. And you got here. Let's type in. Let's type in. Uh, uh, your over. 3068 3068 Bible Hub Strongs and it says proper name of the God of Israel right now if you scroll down here we scroll down here look what it says it says here The Jewish national name. The Jewish. Who is Jewish? What people know is Jewish? These Ashkenaz. These Ashkenazi Jewish people, this is the name of their deity. And we have been calling upon that name since I don't know what. You say, oh, he's a, that name is self-eternal existent. See, that's why the Messiah told the, uh, the Samaritan woman, he says, you do, not, you do not know who you worship. We know who we worship. Because salvation is of the Negroes, is of the Negritians. Now, if we go here to this map called the Macratus map, right? And let's blow this up some. go back to school and learn and learn uh and learn his take a history course You got you got Europe that's up here. Europe. You got the North North America over here. And you got down here. Let me see. Let me see how I can do this. Uh, this is called the Macratus map. So down here, look, let me see how can I can, how can I do this. Okay. All right, here we go. So that's Europe. Here's Ethiopia, right? And you're going to see Negritia. So 
So you got the Sea of Arabia right here, right? That's Arabia. And the Hottentots is down there. One second. So now you have here, okay, here you go. You have Ethiopia down here. The Ethiopians. And you have the Bight of Benin by Afra. And here you have right here is the Nigger River. You have, you have Negritia or, or Sudan, right? And here's the Gold Coast right here, okay? And here's down here is the Slave Coast. Equatoria, Guinea. Equatoria, Guinea. So this is no. This this is right next door to each other. So you have Nicoland, Nicoland right here. The slave coast right here, Equatoria, Guinea. The Booby people, because they were forced to the slave trade, slave trade, slave trade as well. So now you get on this map. It says that someone's gonna come from afar. So they're coming from Europe. You got Europe up here. You got the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea. You got up here uh, uh, Moscow, Russia, Poland. Poland up here. These are Oscar, these are Ashkenazi Jews. That's coming, right? They're coming down here. Here's Jerusalem right here. Here's Egypt, the Egyptians. Jerusalem. They're coming down here. They're coming down here to Negro land, Negritia. And then you come over here to Arabia. That's right next door, nowhere. Arabia, the Arabians, the Polani selling out to the white men and say, hey, come over here and get these niggas. We'll sell them to you. Ship them all over. Right here. Right there. They knew what source of power. They knew what power was calling on. They knew our Heavenly Father's a nigga. We, we, we made it his image and likeness. We were called the Grecians. We were not called Israelites. We were called the Grecians, Negroes. So your Heavenly Father's a Negro. His sons are Negro. His children are Negroes. When you look at these ads that they had selling us, there's nothing in this book but nothing saying Negroes for sale and niggas. So why is it so hard for you to believe that your Heavenly Father, who you profess to believe in in the Scriptures, is a nigger? And his name so happens to be nigger. You don't want to believe that. You don't want to accept that. But you let some Johnny come lady stuff come along and say that there was Yahweh that's come years and years, come out thousands of years later. But you don't want to accept the oldest name. You don't want to go, you don't want to go with the original name. His name is Nigger, the original name. And they're telling you all throughout these books. And the uh In the uh, in the in the Hermetic Bible Dictionary, this dictionary no is uh, 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 you don't want to accept the fact they're telling you here that under the section Negro nigger over here in this section it says here that this name this same word nigger means king. It means king. So he is the king of kings. Jesus Christ, Yusha Mashiach, who you, who you call, is a nigger. His name is nigger. You can't, how you gonna call him Jesus? And that's the name of a damn slave ship. You know what I'm saying? So in the article we read, it said that he was a, he was a, a negro. He's a nigger. Let's go 
to the let's go to the uh, Clarendon Dictionary. Clarendon Dictionary. So you, you can accept it. You can accept his description. You can accept that. What you can't accept his name is his name is being uh, called. His name is Nick. You can't you can't accept that. So you go to the Clarendon Dictionary. And you click on the word wool. And I'm standing up my father's name. Like I said, you can unsubscribe my channel. I'm not going to delete my lesson. You can see I was calling him Yahoo and all those names. I'm not going to delete those lessons. This stuff comes with time and patience. You have to have time, patience, wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. You have to ask for more. He said, if you ask, you shall receive. If you don't ask for nothing, you're not going to get nothing. So we're gonna go to uh, the word, the definition of wool. So you hate the way he, you hate what he looks like. You hate his name. You want to be called everything else but a Negro. You want to be called Israelites or Yahudis. But guess what? You're always gonna be considered a Negro. You're always gonna be classified as a nigga. Every race on the face of the earth knows that you're a nigga or a Negro. And you are, and you reject that because you are you, you put it down as inferiority, inferiority. You let the white man put you down, but that's a sign of of superiority, of superiority. You are kings and you are the you are the prince and princesses of a nigger. But it's all good. You gotta believe what I say. Keep on calling one of those false names. Don't say I ain't warn you. You're gonna say you gonna say, Father, I've done all these things in your names. You're gonna say, oh, get away from me. I don't know you. You don't, you don't, I never knew you. You work yourself in equity. So we all have, oh, we hold the Sabbath day and the, and the feast days and the Passovers. Charging these people money to come out and celebrate this celebrate this stuff. So we're gonna go to the to go to W. Right? And we want the word wool. So you got wool. The soft curled hair of sheep and other animals. Closely curled hair of Negroes. Why didn't they put Israelites there? When you go here to the... When you go here to... Uh, Zonovan's Compact Bible Dictionary. They knew what they was talking about when they put that in here. They knew it. They gave you a clue. But we are so ignorant. We bypassed it. <coughs> and when we call everything up under the sun. Except for Negroes and niggers on the Grecians. Zondervan Ham. And they tell you here that Zondervan's Bible Dictionary definition of Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born about 96 years before the flood. One of eight persons lived through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark, of the dark races. Not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. They didn't say Israelites. They said Negroes. Niggers. We come from Negro land, Negritia. So I showed you. So we have a homeland called Negro land. You have Libya. You have Libya, the Libyans, and the country is called Libya. You have Canaan. What is the country? You have the Canaanites. The people is called Canaanites. What's the country? Canaan. You have Ethiopians. What is the country? Ethiopia. You have Egyptians. The people are Egyptian. What's the what's the country? Egypt. You fools don't know you fools don't know history. You don't know geography. You don't know history. This is a damn shame. This is ridiculous, man. If you I, like I said, man, unsubscribe my channel. I don't have time for ignorant people. I don't. I really don't. I don't have for I don't have time for ignorance. So stupidity. We are Negroes, and you are ashamed of that. 
He says, if my people who are called by my name, what is his name? Nigger. Nigger. Easy as one, two, three, nigger. So if his name is nigger, what race of people on the face of this earth will call niggers? So-called African Americans. The ones who were put on slave ships. When you go to this book right here called, they give you the answers, man, clear as day. The book called Children of Africa. Children of Africa. PDF. Children of Africa, PDF. Let me see. Let's go to, uh, I got 10 minutes left. Um, Google. Yeah, I'm standing for my heavy father's name. His, his name is Nigger. Nigger. And you don't want to accept it. You said what the white man gives you. Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, all that stuff. But you don't want to go with the oldest name, the sacred name, the sacred N-word, nigger. You want to push that to the side and say, oh, the hell with that name. Let's go with some new stuff. But guess what? This nigga right here, this nigga that's on the, on the other end of this camera that you listen to, this nigga ain't flying. This nigga ain't rolling with that, with that new age movement stuff. That's what that is. It's new age movement crap. Let's go here to the children of Africa. I'm going to end my lesson. And like I said, like I said, in my next lesson, we're going to dispose that name Jehovah. Let's go to Google. So I had a couple of my channel. They said it, it was making sense to them. It was starting to make sense. Click on this is a called, book called Children of Africa. Click on the PDF. Let's, load, let's let it load up. I thank you all, heavenly, my heavenly father, nigga, for giving me the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. I have no problems in admitting my flaws and errors. I repent for calling upon your uh, call upon you as a, uh, 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 a false name. You know what I'm saying? We were all deceived, man. All deceived. And you niggas don't want to admit it. You too proud. You too puffed up with pride. And that pride is going to get you destroyed. He says, that's why he says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You niggas don't want to learn nothing. You're so quick to, to uh, discredit and put, you, and put your brother down when they try to teach you something. Now, let's go down to the section here called Children of uh, uh, Races. So I got ten, uh, five minutes left. Let's see if I can help you do this. The Great, Ra Chapter 3, The Great Races of Africa. He says, Before I begin to speak to you about the children of Africa and the Grisha, I would, like to, I would like you to understand how the people of Africa, the Grisha, are separated into different families or divisions. There are in, in the Grisha nearly 200 millions of people, but they do not belong to the same race. The three biggest families are the Berbers in the north, the Negroes in the middle. So we go to this map. What's in the middle of this map? The Grisha. We go to the sacred N word. And we go to this map called called the Grisha, the, the continent of the Grisha. When you click on this map, When you click on this map, what's in the middle? What's in the middle? The Grisha. So let's go back here. So he says here that the big, the three biggest families are the Berbers to the north, the Negroes in the middle, and the Bantus in the south. Besides these, besides these, there are some smaller divisions to which belong the Pygmies or Dwarfs. Those strange little people who Stanley encountered on his famous journey through the terrible forest of the Congo. 
Then there are the Hottentots. So you have the Hottentots. What am I saying in this map? Down here. You have down here. Let's see. The Hottentots. The Hottentots. Okay. Uh, the, then are the Hottentots and the Bushmen of the southwest corner of Africa who have been driven into the desert by the hillies, by the hilly places, by the more powerful invading Bounty tribes. Many long years after, many long years ago, the whole of the northern part of Africa was invaded by large numbers of fierce Arab tribes. Right? Then they were warlike and soon overran the whole country and settled down in it and lived side by side with the original people of the country as their masters, but with whom they afterward mingled. So the North Africans of today are, you see, a people of mixed race. It says here, these hordes of conquering Arabs, whoever who overran the country with their Mohammedans and forced their great religion upon the people among whom they settled. Mohammedanism is their Mohammedanism is therefore the chief religion of the North of Africa. It says now, these Berber tribes are very dark skinned when compared with European, but they did not be but they did not belong to the black people. It says here that the true black people are the Negroes, and their home is in the middle part of Africa, which stretches eastward right across on the west coast. So it says, if you if you niggas don't know history, don't know geography, it says the Gratia is in the middle. It's in the middle. Go back here to this map. Do you know your north, west, east, and south? Do you know your directions? So the Greece is in the middle. You have Arabia over here. Right? And it says that the true black people are the Negroes, and their home is in the middle part of Africa, which stretches from eastward from west to the west, uh, which stretches eastward right across on the west coast. They are the people with the black skins and woolly heads. Thick lips and flat noses and beautiful white teeth. It is they whose forefathers were bought as who will it is they whose forefathers were bought as slaves and taken to America where we find their descendants today. Who were bought and sold and put on slave ships and brought to America. Niggas, Negroes, in this book. Doesn't it say that on put on auction blocks and sold? As pieces of furniture, it says they were. It says it is they whose for, it is they whose forefathers were, were bought as slaves and taken to America. Where we find their descendants today. In this book right here, Jews selling blacks, auction sales. It said they were bought and sold. It says here. Taken up by the subscriber, a Negro, five feet or five, six inches high, 20 years old, had on a white Negro cloth jacket and trousers. It didn't say no Israelite cloth or nothing like that. They knew who they were getting. Negroes, niggas. We come from Negro land. You fools, you dumb niggas, don't know history. You don't know the Bible. You don't know the law. You don't know nothing. You're just dumb as a rock. He says, my people were called by my name. What is his name? His name is nigger. What is his people's names? Niggas. What is their homeland name? What is the homeland name? Where the hell do you come from? Huh? Answer that, you dumb fools. And you come from nigger land. You come from nigger land. This is your homeland, man. This is your homeland. Nigger land. This is your land. Negritia. Nigger land. That's where they got you from. And, br and brought you over here. Here's the Gold Coast Slave Coast. It's right next door. Ain't no, it's nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump to, to, to ship your ass across. The Heavenly Father's name is Nigger. His people, we are Negroes, niggers. Our home name is Nigger Land. With that being said, peace.